Today it's a biggie. We're going to chat about power management along with a few do's and don'ts to make sure you have enough power to keep your crew happy. We highly recommend you share this with your crew prior to your charter so it's fresh in their minds. So let's break it down. I'm here with Toby Grand from Sunsail and Toby is the operations manager responsible for the fleet at their Port Solent base here in Portsmouth. This is where the Corporate Events HQ and Sunsail's largest RYA sailing school are based. Toby maintains and runs a fleet of 30 identically matched high performance racer cruisers from Beneteau and they are frequently used in hand-to-hand -hand combat of events like the Lendy Cows Week and the Round the Island Race. Power generation and conservation are central to an enjoyable sailing holiday. Without power, there's no running water, there's no light, and your beer will get warm because there's no refrigeration either. Good power management is central to a great sailing vacation. Toby, let's go below and talk for a few moments about power generation and management and what are the most important factors when it comes to this topic. Okay. Shall we go? Okay, we're down here at the electrical panel. Uh, Toby, uh, before we start talking about the specifics of generation and, and use of power, is there anything you can say to your crew before the start of a charter that will help you? I always give them a briefing um, to my clients, say basically, when you if you turn it on, make sure you use it for the time you're using it and then turn it off so you don't waste energy. That's the, so, that's the key, is not to waste energy. Yeah, so like my mother said, what are we trying to do, heat the entire neighborhood? Exactly. Right, okay. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, power generation, and then let's talk about power usage. Okay, so um, we always recommend that you run your engine for about an hour and a half in the morning to charge your batteries up, mm -hmm. basically when you're motoring out of a harbor, or likewise, um, and then same again in the evening, another hour and a half when you're motoring in or motoring in at lunchtime. And this is purely just to maintain the batteries? Just to charge up your batteries. Okay, all right. And then um, let's talk a little bit about how you can check your batteries and how you know what's going on with your batteries. Okay, so here we've got two batteries. We've got our main batteries, which are our household batteries. Does that illuminate? It does indeed. Okay, yeah. Um, which are currently at 13 and a half volts. Okay, and that's the house battery? That's the house batteries. Mm -hmm. And also we've got our engine battery we can check, which is sitting at 13.6 volts at the moment. And, um, is it common for the batteries on charter boats to be isolated or do you have to manually isolate them? There's two different systems on this boat. On these boats we have um, the engine battery and the household batteries are separate. Mm -hmm. So there's no crossover between them. So the, the, effectively the house battery and the start battery is isolated. So unless there's a problem with the start battery, you'll always be able to start the engine. Correct. So uh, I'm assuming that then it would be a good idea if in the, in the technical briefing for a charter guest that's not with, with you at Sunsail um, would be to ask the briefer if the batteries are isolated Absolutely. and if they're not to learn how to isolate them. Absolutely. Okay. And always keep your engine battery isolated at night. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Toby, do you have any top tips for um, conserving electricity? What are the big users of electricity on the boat? What do you do? Um, so the big, the big user is the, the fridge. And um, basically we suggest that you run your fridge throughout the day but you must keep an eye. You must keep an eye on your voltages. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so what? Last person to bed at night turns off the fridge, Absolutely. and then you the just first make sure. Person up in the morning turns it back on again. Once you started the battery, or the engine, I'm assuming. Once you started. The battery. Okay, so that sounds like a pretty good tip. So just keep your eye on the voltage. Make sure that the start and the house batteries are isolated, particularly for overnight. Charge your batteries every morning and every evening. Turn off your fridge before you go to bed. Yes, indeed. Any other top tips we can think of? Nope. All right. Well, there we go then. So that's how you do it. Well, there we have it. Remember to pay attention in your technical briefings so that you understand the slight differences in the systems. But after this, you should be a pro at making sure you have enough power to have a great sailing holiday. Next week, Toby and I will be giving you top tips on what to do and how to fix it when your speed log doesn't register during your charter. And if you've enjoyed this short video, please share, like it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, if there's a topic you'd like for us to cover, please pop it in the comments section and we'll do our best to cover it. Thanks and have a great day.